I mean, I saw you in the gym not long after it happened, but you had that terrible accident. Yeah. Piece of wood went. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I wonder if you'd wanted to share the story. Yeah, that. sure, absolutely. Yeah, I, so in uh, 95 is when I. I got into the cycling uh, and I went down to Manchester, it was during the winter of 1995 to do the track league when I borrowed my girlfriend's car and all the rest of it. Then in 1996 they had the national championships at Manchester and they were in May of that year and that was the selection for the Atlanta Olympics. And. Um, I'd managed to, to uh, I got the silver in the kilo there and the, the, the chap that beat me um, went on to ride in, in, in Atlanta. Anyway, they were based in Manchester training for Atlanta and so um, uh, we couldn't ride there basically. Anyway, there's a competition in, I think it was in the June, um, up in Edinburgh. Uh, there's a track up there called Meadowbank, it's a, an outdoor track um, and that was the only the second track I'd ever ridden on. Anyway, it was, it was built in the 80s for the Commonwealth Games that, that, that were in Edinburgh and um, it was only supposed to be there for a, a this is all afterwards, I, under, I got to find all this out. Um, it was initially only supposed to have been there for a few years because it was an outdoor velodrome exposed to the elements and the wood, um, as in any environment that's exposed, moves, cracks, contracts, breaks, and all the rest of it. So, obviously, I don't know, whenever it was, 1996, 10, 12 years down the line, I went up to race on this weekend, and um, one of the events was called the Meadowbank Mile, and big I was the only um, representative of, of my team that was racing and it was a, one of the, the biggest, best uh, cycling clubs in the track cycling clubs was um, Edinburgh Cycling Club. Anyway, so it's basically me versus the whole of this Edinburgh cycling team <laughs> and we're, it, it was a mile race and I basically led it out all the, ra all the way and uh, several, probably, I don't know, ten, a dozen riders on my wheel. Anyway, on the last lap you get a bell to indicate last lap and um, as I was coming out of the final corner heading for the straight um, Chris Hoy uh, came alongside me Craig McLean is another rider who uh, who I used to ride with um, came up from Chris anyway he came down caught Chris uh, Chris caught me me and Chris went down I slid along the track and um, within this sliding along the track, um, I basically picked up two pieces of wood that went into my back. One was about that long, about I don't know, that wide and about that thick that went from there through there uh, and it was stuck in my back. I had another piece of wood that was stuck through there. So, um, yeah, fell off. I, I wasn't knocked out. I just remember um, reaching round and feeling uh, this thing sticking out of, of the back of my back. Uh, I think I probably uh, screamed out a few profanities as well. Uh, um, <laughs> and um, yeah, at the time I didn't. It was it was weird because I, honestly, for, the, for, for I didn't know whether I might die. It sounds a bit dramatic, but seriously, I, I didn't know whether this was it sort of thing and I didn't know if I was going to pass out or what. Anyway, eventually, I, you know, within a minute or so, right, it's not, I'm not going to die sort of thing. Uh, and uh, anyway, so it took me off the track. I was in hospital for a week and it was fine. They removed it all, stitches, and I've got these nice scars. I, when I'm on the beach, it's a shark wound. I got bit <laughs> attacked by a shark, um, so that goes down well. Um, but yeah, that, that changed the direction of my cycling because uh, in the early days, I, I, I would race everything, endurance, sprint, you name it, I'd do it. And, and from that day, uh, I then decided I'd only do uh, time trial events, which m meant that there was no racing involved with it. So, yeah, that's the accident, and that's the, 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 the route that took me off into sort of the kilo and team sprint direction.